this is much more about money than it is about security. The former Secretary of Homeland Security, Michael Chertoff, represents Rapiscan, the company which is selling these scanners to his former department. Far too many federal contracts are sweetheart insider deals. Companies hire former high-ranking federal officials and then, magically, those companies get hugely profitable federal contracts. Damn, doesn't that make you mad? Well, here he is in the flesh, or at least uh, live via satellite from Knoxville, Tennessee, Congressman John Duncan, Republican uh, of Tennessee, ranking member of the House Subcommittee on Highways and Transit. Welcome, uh, Congressman. Well said on the floor. Uh, let me also bring in our colleague, our dear colleague, Juan Williams, who joins us from D.C. tonight. Uh, but, Congressman, that is absolutely maddening. I call them anti-terror pimps. I'm telling you, there's, uh, since 9-11, there's been a whole class of people who've been enriched by feeding on our paranoia and our fear. And I think the body scanners, to me, a classic example, Congressman. Well, I think you're exactly right. And in fact, uh, a University of uh, Pennsylvania professor about a year ago wrote in one of the uh, Capitol Hill newspapers that uh, the war on terror had become a funding bonanza now for all sorts of federal agencies and corporations and uh, others. And, uh, the, uh, and he said the spending now far exceeded the threat. And what I've said repeatedly, we need to have a little more balance and common sense and we need to come to our senses and realize that, uh, uh, you know, people are just trying to uh, make big money off of this and, and what uh, uh, we need to do is, uh, uh, I, I know that there are people all over this country, probably half the people who anytime you, you say something is for security, they're going to be for it no matter how wasteful or needless or excessive that it is. But people all over the country are upset about these uh, scanners, and I think they should be. Well, that's a separate issue. I'll, I'll get to that one, Congressman. Sticking on this, uh, I mean, the, uh, the, the obscene uh, money that these machines cost. I mean, I was in Iraq in a, in a isolated, right. no, it was Afghanistan, actually. It was April, last April, with the Marines. And sitting in this forward operating base in the middle of this dust-strewn field was one of these radiation detectors. Wasn't plugged into anything. It was sitting in the corner, right. had some canvas over it. You could watch it deteriorating. I think that it's, it's absolutely the scam of, our, the scam of our times. And I'm glad to see Republicans, right. and they sh you should get these Democrats, shake them up, get them on your side. Everyone's talking about deficit reduction right. and yet we're spending uh, I, I, a boat told me the initial contract was 175 million on these body scanners well they've already approved for uh, uh, up to 300 million dollars I think the plans are for 1800 uh, scanners by the by the year 2014 but I think you're going to see thousands more because you're going to see almost every federal department and agency want to get these but uh, probably in almost all the uh, uh, federal buildings, and I think people have uh, legitimate concerns about uh, getting these uh, full body doses of radiation. Uh, I, I chaired the aviation subcommittee for six years, and so I know that there are millions of frequent flyers who uh, go through these airports uh, uh, twice a week on average, and uh, I think they should be concerned about it. And then also, uh, uh, parents are concerned about unrelated adults. Uh, groping or, or touching their children. Really? In, Imagine in, that. I see a guy touching my five-year-old. I'm going to whack him and probably get arrested for it. Juan Williams, how often do you fly? How many right. times a week do you fly? I fly a lot, Geraldo, so I'm in, I'd say on average Do you have your children already, year. I hope? Just I'm kidding. sorry? You have your kids already? Yeah, <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah. We don't have to worry about that. Right, but so I'm in, I, I, I'd say I take three flights a week, Geraldo. Imagine that. So how do you feel about the body, the body? I, I tell you what, put the body scanners aside for a second. Let's okay. go to the whole notion, and this is the, the touchiest part of this, and I don't mean a pun here, uh, the, uh, the, the searching grandma the same way you search uh, Abdul from Yemen. You know, I have more Muslim friends, I always say this, than anybody else on national television, and I'm sorry. I want the kid coming from Yemen searched differently than uh, grandma going to Disneyland. Absolutely. It makes sense to me. Now, let me just say, I think the congressman is right, but I just want to, you know, just because we should be fair to everyone involved here, say that Michael Chertoff, when he was head of Homeland Security, was an advocate of these machines long before anybody was paying him or he had any consulting role with them. And the second thing to say is that I had lunch with Janet Napolitano. I interviewed John Pistol just the other day, the head of TSA. 
and they tell me that in terms of the radiation, if you just walk around the streets of your city for an hour, you get as much radiation as you do from these machines. If you're up in the air for two minutes, two minutes, uh, you get as much radiation. So it's not a high dose of radiation coming from those machines. Well, you know, the radiation isn't the thing that scares me. Though. What, what bothers me is how wasteful it is. I'm, I'm out of time, Juan. Uh, thanks for hanging around. Congressman Duncan, thank you as well.